The indecision of the European Union leaders triggered high market volatility. Traders were forced to sell off the single currency. The fact is that investors have noticed signs of disintegration tendencies in the yesterday's conference. For example, Germany is not in a hurry to help Italy and Spain, which suffered most from the coronavirus crisis. Thus, the euro-dollar pair hit a month's low since uh, it's uh, the end of the trading week. Traders have decided to close their selling deals on the euro and to take profit. Thus, the euro managed to recap some of its losses. At the moment, the euro-dollar pair is trading at the level of 1.0775 and sometimes moves towards 1.0727. In fact, it's a sign that the quote may resume the downward trend after it hits the low locked on April 6. In a mid-term perspective, the pair is likely to drop to 1.0700636. The second level was reached in spring 2017. In other words, the price may approach uh, all-time lows. In a short-term perspective, the euro-dollar pair may fluctuate within the range of 1.07508 for a short period of time. The British pound's rise was capped by extremely weak data on the UK retail sales. Thus, the indicator slumped by 5.8%. Moreover, the data proved that consumer activity will not survive not only in the UK, but in the whole euro area. During the correction, the pound-dollar pair got stuck at the level of 1.2350 and was trading there for quite a long time. In the near future, the pair is likely to break 1.2350, which acts as a resistance level. After that, the quote may decline to the local low recorded on April 21st and even hit the pivot point at 1.2150. The US dollar was uh, stopped uh, its upward movement and is starting to lose ground. Such a movement was caused by the expectations of the data on the US durable goods orders. Analysts suppose that the indicator may decrease by 12%. Such a slump proves that the US retail sales are likely to slit more. Moreover, the US industrial production will also fall, whereas unemployment rate will climb. Besides, there are no hints that the economic recession will bottom out in the near future. The US dollar is still afloat due to the fact that the economic slump is a global problem. That's why weak data on the US durable goods orders may lead only to a slighter and short-term drop of the greenback. That's all for now. We wish you profitable deals and um, waiting for you on our channel in a couple of hours. See you!